from Sweden. Today we will be celebrating midsummer and of course bring you along. But before we head out there, remember to like this video and subscribe. There are new travel videos every week and I really appreciate your support. But for now, let's head out there. So we are up bright and early to start the day with collecting the birch trees to be able to uh, decorate the midsummer pole. So we have found a good uh, birch tree here which we will uh, use to decorate the midsummer pole. So uh, yeah, let's try to fella this thread. Yeah, chop the wood down and if you were wondering this is on our uh, private land so yeah we're cutting down our own trees just uh, for your uh, information so yeah we're going to drag these uh, to the house and then uh, start uh, decorating so now that we have got the birch to uh, set the structure of the midsummer pole and the uh, crowns, we need of course flowers to decorate them. So yeah, we've uh, taken the car out and uh, yeah, started picking some flowers here by the side of the road. So uh, yeah, we'll see what we find. We found uh, one of the like main flowers that we use for midsummer. I think they're called daisies and uh, yeah, uh, these are really good to have in the crown. So uh, after uh, picking some flowers, we're taking a uh, break with uh, having some uh, fika down here by the lake. So yeah, let's go and fika. So yes, we brought out the picnic basket. This was actually a graduation present. Uh, yeah, five years ago now, so I'm getting old. And uh, yeah, we have actually got some uh, midsummer uh, cake from a um, place called Vego Fika in Gothenburg and it is a vegan cake. So um, yeah, it will be really interesting and fun to try this out. And of course as well, we have our little midsummer pole here and you'll see later on when we build our own, uh, but yeah. Uh, normally every year each city or town has their own huge midsummer pole and it's kind of a big um, party and celebration that everyone uh, gathers together um, but yeah this year it's a bit smaller so yeah here you see the uh, midsummer cake with strawberries and a Swedish flag here Okay, so yeah, let's try the first bite here. Uh, the outer layer is uh, marzipan uh, with um, uh, oat cream, I believe. Yeah, really nice. And then inside there's sponge, um, jam, and then another kind of um, almond uh, cream, I believe. Uh, so yeah. from the flower picking mission and uh, we are uh, now going to uh, start to assemble the midsummer pole and the crowns and you can see here that here are all the flowers that we were able to get and then yeah we have the birch trees and we are uh, reusing our uh, midsummer pole here from last year 
Fröda. So I'm going to now do the flower crowns and I'll try to guide you through it. I'm not an expert, but I'll just show you how, how um, yeah, I do it. Um, what you'll need is a steel wire like this, a pair of pliers <laughs> and a pair of normal scissors. Um, and I use the birch and then also the uh, flowers. So, yes. And then what you do is you just twist the metal wire here just around. So now that you've done like a big length of the wire and the birch, you can then form it to a circle and kind of test to see that it fits on your head. So yeah, this feels like a, a good size, so we'll do it like this. Okay, so we have a good crown now and uh, then we start to add the flowers. Yeah, so as you can see, I'm going with a purple and uh, daisy theme here. So yeah, I'll continue with that. Wire here, which we use to uh, put the, the birch in place. As you can see, we are now finished with the Midsummer Pole. Uh, very, very nicely decorated. And also the flower crown is finished. So um, yeah, maybe not so asymmetrical, but yeah, it does the trick. It is now lunchtime and we are actually having a uh, Smörgås torta, uh, which is a sandwich cake. Uh, and we have actually found a vegan one, uh, which we're going to try out and it looks really, really beautiful. And yeah, I think this is the first time for me trying a vegan uh, smörgås torta. Uh, but this is a very traditional Swedish uh, dish or uh, food. You see, it's sandwiched in several different layers. Let's try it out. In Sweden we love our games and one of the traditional games that you usually do on midsummer or just in summer in general is Kub. It is a uh, game made out of wood and uh, yeah I'm going to show you how it works. These are the parts for the game. We will have to mark out the course with these so one in each corner. Uh, the goal of the game is to uh, knock down the other team's uh, wooden blocks. In the middle of the uh, court here, uh, we have the king. And this is the winning factor. So whoever knocks down the other uh, team's blocks and, their, and the king, that team wins. And to knock down the blocks, you use these wooden sticks. So 
once you've done a big like your hold ah. once you've done uh 